All right, class, uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for being on time. Once again, my name is uh, Rene Escamilla, and I'm going to, I would try to explain our class tonight, all right? So let's see, let me share the first thing that we are going to double check tonight. And let's see, let me demo to compartir algo acá en ese momento. All right. Let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now. Okay, let's see. All right, can you see what I'm checking right now? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, yes. Excellent. All right, so uh, now uh, we we won't uh, check. We, we're not gonna check tonight uh our tongue twist all right so we're just gonna double check our motivation uh section or part okay so let's repeat everybody motivation come on let's go motivation 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 very good very good excellent here let me read it for you and then i'm going to double check this uh lovely quote together all right it says like this your future is created by what you do today not tomorrow, all right? Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow, all right? So what does that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Su futuro eh, es... Uh -huh. Your future está creado, ha sido creado para hacer las cosas hoy, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo lo motivo nuevamente, ¿verdad? De que si usted está desmotivado, desmotivada, acuérdese que su futuro está creado para hacerlo hoy, no mañana. Como dice el, el dicho, ¿verdad? Mañana hago mi casa, dijo, y nunca la hizo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, así hay que pensar, ¿verdad? Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. All right, very good, very good. So, eh, let me just... Uh, Yeah, let me just check or mándeme un like y le voy a creer que usted va a crear su futuro hoy, que no lo va a esperar mañana, ¿verdad? Hoy es hoy, ya lo de ayer se perdió, ¿verdad? Very good, very good. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Lisette. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so now we're going to double check our platform because I was checking some information there and I need to review some information here, right? So... Pero vamos a callar aquí porque estamos con, con mucho ruido. So, okay, very good. All right, so, and our topic, our topic uh, that we're going to discuss, that we're going to double check tonight, it's basically the one that you are checking right now. Let me, I don't know if you are able to see what I'm checking. Give me one second. Let's see. And let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Yes? Okay. Simple pass, yes, no questions, ¿verdad? Eso le hemos venido dando de primas a primas, ¿verdad? Eso creo que ya lo, ya lo vimos, pero está en, en vez parte del, del tema que vamos a desarrollar esta noche o que estamos desarrollando, ¿verdad? Pero igual hay que exp explicarlo para que usted lo entienda de una manera mejor, ¿all right? So, let's repeat. Simple pass, yes, no questions. Simple pass, yes, no questions. Simple pass, yes, no questions. All right. ¿Cuáles son esas yes, no questions? Es la que le, les explicaba la vez pasada. Se recuerda de que a veces yes. yo le pregunto y usted me contesta solo con el yes y el no. That's it. Pero ¿qué quiere decir? Si yo le pregunto, uh, Jennifer, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do no, do you speak English? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Ajá, uh -huh, okay, very good. Y otra sería si esas son las yes no questions, ¿verdad? Son las, las respuestas cortas. All right, si yo le digo a uh, Prisha, do you no Christian no está Wendy, do you did you practice English today? Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Yes, I did, right? <laughs> yes, I did. All right, Lisette, do you complete your platform exercises tonight? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't, ¿verdad? Si lo hice, no, no mm -hmm. lo hice. Acuérdese, el did y el do es totalmente diferente. 
Sí, son, aux sí. son auxiliares que recuerden, le decía yo la vez pasada, el DID es el que le vamos a, el que va a utilizar usted cuando se haga, un, cuando haya, cuando haya, perdón, una pregunta, una pregunta que usted hizo ayer, por decirlo así, o tres horas atrás. Si yo le pregunto, déjeme ver, a, le pregunto a Carlos, Carlos, do you take the bus tonight? Did you take the bus? Uh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Y vengo, y, y, y ya quiero saber más, más, más información, ¿verdad? Pero acuérdese que este es el yes, no question. O sea, en el que usted solo va a decir, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. El did es para hacer preguntas. ¿Qué, qué hizo usted an anoche, hace tres horas o anteriormente? El do, acuérdese que es cuando usted le pregunta presente, ¿verdad? Hey, do you like play basketball? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Hey, do you like uh, horror, horror movies? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ya, si yo quiero saber que si vio la película X, si jugó basquetbol o fútbol, o si este vio el primer tiempo del partido de la selección, entonces usted me dice, yes, I did. Si yo le pregunto, Karen, did you watch, did you watch the, the first part of the game? Between El Salvador and Martinica, do you watch the first the first part of the game? No, I don't. No, oh, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Acuérdense, mm -hmm. pongamos, póngale así un active listening en qué me está preguntando, ¿verdad? Porque esas son preguntas cruciales. Porque a la hora de la entrevista, acuérdense que usted tiene que de hablar como habla el español, ¿verdad? Eso esperemos. Un día lo vamos a lograr, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver este video. Me dicen si lo puede, si se puede proyectar, ¿ok? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Not Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Okay, class, uh, as we mentioned before, let me explain this part uh, real, real quick. As we mentioned before, remember, the auxiliary, it won't, I mean, the, aux, uh, the auxiliary did, it won't change the verb at all. 
el auxiliar did nunca va a cambiar el verbo. Acuérdese de eso. Si usted me quiere decir o le quiere decir a alguien, este, comiste pi eh, pizza anoche. Entonces, acuérdese que el verbo va a quedar. El verbo comer, ¿cuál es en inglés? Eat. 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 Very, very good. Entonces, ahí no va a cambiar el verbo. Si usted me dice, hey, Mr. Escamilla, did you eat pizza last night? Viene aquí eh, mi persona y le digo, yes, I did. I ate pizza last night. Ahí sí cambio yo el verbo, ¿verdad? Porque ya le estoy diciendo, sí, yo comí pizza last night, anoche, ¿verdad? Acuérdese de eso. Vamos. Finally. We add a compliment and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did. Or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively. Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our... eh, alguna pregunta. En este caso, eh, ¿por qué acaba de decir el no, they didn't? Puede contestar, <laughs> yes, they did, no, they didn't. ¿Por qué será? Porque está hablando de Erika y su hey. hermana. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Okay. In esta parte, este, quiero que no se me vaya a confundir. ¿Verdad? Quiero que le quede bien claro este, este ejemplo que está dando el, el maestro. ¿Verdad? Que cuando usted conteste, en este caso, se le pregunta, ¿verdad? Did, did Erica and her sister go to Colorado, Colorado? Colorado, I'm sorry. Bien, la respuesta es negativa. ¿verdad? Dice, no, they didn't. They went to Arizona. All right. So ahí especifica a dónde fueron ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente acá el verbo no cambia. Did Erica and her sister go? El verbo es go. Go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Erica y su hermana fueron a Colorado? No, ellos no fueron. Ellos fueron a Arizona. Okay? Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Excellent. Second. All right, I believe you already complete this part, right? So this is scramble, uh, I'm scramble, I'm scrambled the questions, right? Ya terminaron esta parte, el, el 4.12. Y tenemos acá un, otra, otra lección. Lesson adjective. Let me read it for you. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. 
All right. Al final de esa clase aprenderán vocabulario para discutir las actividades de verano. So, my question now is, do you like to be in summertime or wintertime? ¿Qué prefieren? What will, I mean, which uh, station do you like? I mean, you guys love it. What, 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 when, which station would you like to be? Almost like I like, mm -hmm. I like summertime. Summertime, right? <laughs> I like uh, winter time, you know, because uh, I like summertime, teacher. Here in El Salvador, it's too, it's too hot. Too hot. I love summertime. Okay, so let's see uh, the war power summertime activities, right? So, para que tengamos una idea de lo que estaban hablando en la en el en la conversación anterior, ¿verdad? Este hiking, no sé si saben qué, es, ¿verdad? Es como salir a caminar. Como ir a, a una caminata, ¿verdad? Cuando le digan, "Let's go, let's go en let's go hiking." Al principio pensé que era escalar, pero no lo averigüé y pues es como salir a una caminata, ¿verdad? Hiking, a movie, new people, old friends, swimming, tennis, volleyball, pictures, picnic. All right, so let's see cuánto dura este Es niño, vamos a ver, permítame. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, excellent. So let me ask you, uh, Lisette, when was the last time that you went to the movies? When was the last time that you went to the movies, Lisette? Okay, uh, Francisco, when was the last time that you went to the movies? I I saw the movie um, the last weekend with my wife. Okay. Uh, the answer, para hacerla más bonita, acuérdense que tenemos que darle un, un acknowledge, ¿verdad? <laughs> Siempre darle un acknowledge para que se acomoden, se, se, se completen las ideas, se, concret, se concreten las ideas respecto a la pregunta. When was the last time that you go to the movies, uh, last, uh, when was the last time that you go to the movies, uh, Francisco? No, when. When was the last time that you go to the movies? En bien, usted me dice, I went, ahí cambia mm -hmm. el verbo ya, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I went to the movies with my family last weekend. All right, so, Let's see, uh, Serena, when was the last time that you went, I mean, that you go, I mean, that you go, when was the last time that you, that you go to the beach? I went to the beach um, Sunday. Last Sunday, right? Last Sunday. Last right. Sunday. Last Sunday. Okay, very good. All right, let's see, uh, Carlos. Let's see, do you practice Arabic language this weekend? Did you practice Arabic language this weekend? Eh, no le entiendo. La... Oh. Okay, practic Hay una palabra que está diciendo que no sé qué es. Did you practice, acuérdese, practicó ¿Ah? el lenguaje de árabe este fin de semana? Ah, árabe. Arabic. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, right? So, 
Easy, easy. <laughs> very good, very good. Excellent. All right. So the thing is, the reason that I'm that I that I am asking questions related to the topic that we are discussing is because I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding when you need to answer did, didn't, do, or don't. All right. So why I uh, why we 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 are discussing this for like almost uh four classes already is because this topic is is pretty i mean extensive i won't say extensive but uh we need to study a lot you know the steps or the 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 things that that are related uh that are related with this with this topic as well it's uh, no es, no es que sea extenso no es que sea largo que es lo mismo al la redundancia pero hay que eh, aclarar muchos detalles verdad porque de acá de acá de ahora en adelante vienen ustedes van para el módulo el, el módulo cuarto no sé si va o pasan a intermedio o cuál es el siguiente que donde va, va a pasar intermedio intermedio pre intermedio pre intermedio uh -huh. alright so eh, no es que le darle miedo a los alumnos verdad pero es acuérdese de que hay maestros de que they don't like to speak Spanish they don't like to speak Spanish. All right. So I was checking some videos from your previous teacher. And this uh, this uh, colleague, she avoided to speak Spanish. You know, ella trataba de evitar el español. Y si les hablaba, les hablaba español, pero bien poco. Entonces, ahora que usted tuvo la oportunidad de estar conmigo, quiero que se proyecte porque el, el, próximo, el próximo teacher they will be talking all the time in English, right? So if they, I, I mean, if the next teacher is start, uh, if they start talking, you know, only English, yes, Christian, dígame. Solo eh, en lo particular, sí, no sé si los compañeros, pero sí se sintió un poco el switch del del cambio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero en lo particular es mejor porque, como usted dice, teniendo listen, uno va educando el oído, solo escuchar el inglés, porque Exacto. nosotros trabajamos y uh -huh. nuestro día a día es solo el español y no Ex tenemos donde más practicarlo por el tiempo. Y con uh -huh. ustedes como más vamos rápido, rápido, rápido. Uh -huh. En Conmigo... lo particular me gusta. Me conmigo, gusta, conmigo va muy rápido o, o como no le, no, le, no, le, no le entiendo o sea, sí siento que va aquello como que va rápido para que aprendamos uh -huh. pero a la vez me gusta porque es más inglés que español okay, en lo okay. particular ok, ok, anyways, very good, very good lo, lo, lo que le quiero decir es esto que a veces este habemos estudiantes habemos personas que somos bien bien frágiles, somos bien, no sé cómo decirle, pero somos, o sea, no entendemos el mensaje que a, ve, a veces se han ido, se, se van estudiantes, pero se van de la clase los estudiantes por la sencilla razón de que el maestro solo habla inglés. O se van otros estudiantes por la sencilla razón de que el maestro no habla inglés. Usted dice, come on, I'm here because I want to learn to speak English, but this teacher all the time is talking in Spanish and he never mentioned anything in English, right? So, pero solo le hago saber eso para que usted tenga las ideas más, eh, más claras, ¿verdad? Que para que no le vaya a pasar nada más adelante. Pero eso es punto y aparte, solo le estoy dando como unos tips para el próximo curso. All right, so, and besides this, let me just share some other information here with you guys. Give me one second. Let's see. Let's have it. Okay. All right. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Okay. So, let, I mean, help me with the information that we have here. I mean, with the sentences that we have here. And let me let me ask. Let's see. Lisette, tell me how you will... Uh, Structure this uh, question. ¿Cómo iría esta pregunta, mi estimada Lisette? Uh, quiero ver. Ay, ya lleva 17 segundos. Sí. Ti. Ti. You. And your. Quiero ver. Did you. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Did your, did your friends? Okay. Did... Vamos a... Dele, dele, dele. Did your friends... Váyame tomando el mele captura y me la va formulando así a, con, con el papel y lápiz, ¿verdad? Para que participemos uh, la mayoría, ¿ok? Entonces okay. me le ca captura rápido y voy a pasar a otro, ¿ok? No se preocupe, ya lo vamos a, a, a crear, lo vamos a, a hacer como, ¿cómo es? lo vamos a formular como de la manera que es, ¿verdad? Let's see, ok. Uh, Christian, tell me how you will structure this uh, question. How would be the best way for you? Okay. Did your friends see you last night? D, let's see. Did you see your, your friend. friends last night? Very good. Excellent. Did you last night? Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's see. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, let's see. Al más serio. Vamos a ver el más serio. El más serio. Que, 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 todos tienen que estarse riendo. Si no, ahorita el hijo. Vamos a ver. Uh, Francisco, please uh, tell me. Did you go shopping, grocery, or grocery, no sé cómo sería, last weekend? Did you go shopping, shopping, grocery, grocery last, last weekend? weekend? Mm, did you go, yes, very good, very good, excellent. All right, so take a, a, a picture or a, a screenshot. Okay, let's see, Adriana, ¿cómo iría la siguiente, Adriana, Gabriela? Did you watch? Mm -hmm. Did you watch? Movie last night. Did you watch a movie last night? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, mi estimada Alma Patricia, ¿cómo iría esta? Está en mute. Uh, did you? Did you? Uh, stay home yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Alma. Okay, let's see. Next, vamos a ver quién más está por acá. Wilbur, please, how, how will, I mean, what would be the best way for you to structure this question? Okay. Did, did you... Make um no do you make dinner on Thursday? Very good, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see. Iris, be my guest. Go ahead. Did you have a party uh last Saturday? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. All right, very good, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, so, uh, we just have six. We don't have more. So very good, guys. You see, we are learning more. So no worries. So now we're going to double check another another one over here. Let's see. All right, simple pass, yes, no questions. All right, so remember, everything that we are checking right now, it's related to the topic that we are discussing. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, ¿Quién no me ha participado? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay, uh, Eva, Alicia, please. Yes. Go ahead. Mm. You showered your dog yesterday? Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. No. no, it's not correct. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can I ask Rita? Uh, uh, Camila, Lisette, you're next. Did you saw a movie yesterday? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. <laughs> Acuérdense que el, el auxiliar nunca cambia. Nunca cambia el verbo. All right, so let's see uh, Adriana Gabriela be my guest. Go ahead. 
Correct or incorrect? Did you go shopping uh, last weekend? Correct. Excellent. Brian Alexander, you're next. Okay, one second. Brian, do you play soccer this weekend, correct or incorrect? Uh, incorrect. 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 Excellent, excellent. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo estaba... En pasado. En pasado. pasado excellent. Okay, Carlos Mario Lopez, be my guest. You next. You painted your room last Monday. Correct or incorrect, Carlos? Incorrect. Correct. Oh, incorrect. Very good, very good. Estela, be my guest. Estela Marisol. Do you have a do you have an exam this week? Correct or incorrect, Estelita? Correct. Estela, correct. 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 Excellent. Okay. Uh Karen Guadalupe, be my guest, please. Okay, um, what's next? Uh, Karen Guadalupe, please. Did you take an English lesson last Saturday? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Alma Patricia Rivas, please. Next. Did you buy a new sweater last night? Correct or incorrect, uh, Alma? Incorrect. Incorrecto. <laughs> okay. No problem, no problem. Acuérdense que, hay que el verbo no hay que cambiarlo. Por eso tenemos que aprender los nuevos verbos. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see, Luis Alberto Menjibar, please. Do you clean your house last weekend, correct or incorrect? Correct. Incorrect. Incorrect. Acu acuérdense que el verbo estaba, ya estaba, este, sí. cambiado. Entonces hay que tener mucho cuidado acá, all right? So, very good, very good. Iris, be my guest, Iris. Did you mop the floor yesterday? Correct. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, excellent. Jennifer, be my guest. Okay, hold on. Ya, ya terminamos las... Las preguntas, vamos a ver. Jennifer, be my guest. Okay, coach. You show you showered your dog yesterday, correct or incorrect? Incorrect, coach. Excellent. Because the verb, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, who else? Who who else want to participate? Let's see. Jose David Rodriguez, be my guest. Do you saw a movie yesterday? 
correct or incorrect, Jose David. Mauricio Enrique López, correct or incorrect? Mm, incorrect. Right. Excellent. All right. So, Pamela Hernandez, be my guest. Did you go shopping last shopping. weekend? Correct. Excellent. And Lisette Alvarado, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Did you play soccer this weekend, Lisette Alvarado? Correct, teacher. Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Okay, excellent. We're going to stop right there. Let me pass uh, uh, list right now, just a moment. See Hold on, hold on. All right, just said I'm here, teacher present. Oh, como se quiera contestar. Okay, let's see. Permítame, permítame. Se me ha perdido. Okay, aquí están. Me pierdan. Bueno, me pierdan, me pierdan, aquí estamos, ok. Excellent, very good, very good, very good. Vamos a ver, what day is today, guys? What day is today? Anybody can tell me what date is today? Tuesday. Date, no date, date. Uh, date, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, seven. Day seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. October. October seventeen. Seventeen. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, let's see. Let me double check. Okay, Alvaro Mauricio Canales Via Toro. Alvaro Mauricio Canales Via Toro. Okay. So let's see, Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Soy en, en el correcto, permítame, creo que no sé en el correcto. All right, let's see. Uh, Andrea de Los Angeles, Zoom okay. Estrada. Are you there? Yes. Andrea de los. No es Andrea. Es que tengo acá. Brenda Carolina. No es de este. Okay. okay. Donde está Alma en el segundo espacio. Okay. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Okay. Brenda Rache, eh, Ra, 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 Rachel Abrego Arevalo. Thank you. Permítame. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, guys. Okay. A ver si es no aquí está. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. Okay, let's see. All right, today is 17. Adriana Gabriela Enriquez Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. This is the one. Okay. Alma Patricia Rivas. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Ana Lisette Alba. Uh, Ana, Ana Lisette Avalos Alvarado. Present Ana, teacher. 
Thank you, Miss. Brenda Esmeralda Carillas Carillas. Brenda Esmeralda Carillas Carillas. She's not here. Okay, Brian Alexander Tejada, Francia. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Camila Lisette Casum Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Mario Lopez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Elvis Leonel Lopez Guevedo. Here. Estela Marisol Vasquez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eva Alicia Costanza Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Francisco Samuel Sanchez uh, Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Iris Milena Mejia Moran. Present. Thank you, Miss. Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo Hernandez. Present, coach. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo Hernandez. Present, coach. Okay, one second. Jose David Rodriguez Mendez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Karen Guadalupe Cetino Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Crisia Dorila Mingiva Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alberto Mingiva Santa Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Luis Antonio Ortiz Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Enrique Crespin Lopez. Present teacher. Sir. Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Vale. Present teacher. Thank you. Nidia Yamilex Calero Trejo. Nidia Yamilex Calero Trejo. Rosa Irma Flores de Linares. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Sabrina Susana Galvez Seren. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Maria Hernandez Dubon. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Miss. Uh, Wendy Lisette Cruz Hernandez. Present. Wilbur Enrique Jacinto Martinez. Present. Thank you, sir. William Vladimir Mulato Guevara. Present. Thank you, sir. Yesenia Maribel Palacio de Hernandez. Yesenia Maribel Palacio de Hernandez. Okay, she's not here. Yesenia Pamela Hernandez Arrucha. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, give me one second. All right. Let me share this information with you guys. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now, okay? So, we are here. Okay, so, um, lesson objective, right? So, this is a part of the information or part of the, the exercises. And no, in this case, would be the lessons that we need to check together before we complete the whole uh, topics, right? So, let's see. Uh, and it says like this, once again, by the end of this class, you will you will develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. All right. So al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para las ideas principales y detalles. Okay. So. Reading stories. Let's repeat. Reading stories. Reading stories. Reading stories. Reading stories. Reading stories. Reading okay. stories. Entonces aquí lo que vamos a hacer, lo que vamos a tener que verificar, guys, es solamente leer las historias de cada persona que estamos eh, teniendo en este caso, que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Ahí van a hablar de Robert, Erin y de la otra niña que no se mira el, 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 el name de ella, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, todavía tenemos tiempo. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title 
Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. <clears throat> we got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Put up the tent. All right, guys. Si les pregunto en en qué tiempo está hablando, se han hablado esas tres historias, ¿cuál sería su respuesta? Pasado. Pass, right? Pass, 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 right? Pass. pass, excellent. I just want to make sure that you guys are identifying the verbs and the way that people is talking to you. Because if you see the first story, acuérdense que, voy a hacer un paréntesis rápido. History es una cosa. Story es otra cosa. Si me explico. Entonces, se lo pongo acá, así más detallado. En el chat, mire. History, no se me voy a confundir, porque eso siempre sucede, ¿verdad? Pero, en story. ¿Verdad? History, it's when we are, in English, right? In English, it's when you are talking, or, or, where, or when we are talking about the past things, things that happens in the past. Like, for example, let's see... When was the last time that we have an earthquake here in El Salvador? That's history, right? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que hubo un terremoto en El Salvador? Eso es historia. All right? <clears throat> but, but stories are the ones that we are listening right now. La historia que estamos escuchando ahorita son las que, la que acabamos de escuchar, valga la redundancia. ¿Sí me explico? No, me, no se vaya a confundir. History se pronuncia history. Let's repeat. History. 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 ¿Qué dijo ahí la niña de Kelly? Uh -huh. I had a great weekend. I went to my uh, I went to my best friend's Helen's wedding. Mm -hmm. She got mar married at home. All her friends and family mm -hmm. went. She looked fan uh, fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony. Her parents serve a wonderful meal, mm -hmm. and I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. All right, so I andaba hasta, hasta, hasta el esposo le gustó, dice. Entonces, eh, lo mismo acá, ¿verdad? Todo está hablando en pasado, acuérdese. You need to practice and practice and practice and learn more verbs, all right? So if I ask, let's see, Uh, Francisco, tell me five different verbs. Pero así las, para las ya. Five uh, different verbs. How, when, mm, no, pues no, me la, no me, no me, no me la esté viendo ahí. 
Qué lindo. Yo me estoy diciendo que lo identificara de ahí. Qué lindo. No, by memory, by memory, tell me five different verbs. Mm -hmm. eh, when? Mm -hmm. mm, cook? Cook. Okay. Mm, talk? Okay. One more. Mm, eh, sleep? Es lock? Algo así. Sleep. Very, very good, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. Camila, tell me five different verbs. When, read, did, slept, um, forget, forgot, creo. Forget, forgot, okay. Very good, excellent. Uh, Lisette, five different verbs, please. Dígame cinco verbos, Lisette Alvarado. Uh, okay, teacher. Um, Brown. 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 Car. Can. Eat. Okay, excellent. Very good, very good. Let's see, uh, Adriana, tell me five different verbs. Mm, work. Mm -hmm. Play. Mm, run. Um, take, um, look. Okay, very good, very good. Carlos, five different verbs, please. Uh, walk, see, mm, run. Mm -hmm. uh, Become. Uh -huh. um, make. Okay, excellent. Uh, Karen, Guadalupe, tell me five different things that you see around your room. Five, di five different things that you see around your room. Um, paint. Mirror. Uh -huh. Telephone. Door. And uh, book. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Um, let me see. Uh, Wilbur, tell me five different animals faster. Five different animals' names. I'm sorry. Uh, dog. Mm -hmm. Cat. Um, beers. Mm -hmm. Mm, no Excellent. No very, very good, very good, very good. All right, guys. The reason that, that we are asking these questions, remember that I told you last time, no sé si lo dije, it's because I just want to make sure how you guys answer, you know, because when you guys start talking English with somebody or anybody in front of you or around you, you need to be ready. ¿verdad? You need to be ready because... If you go, for example, if you travel or if you go to a different country, I don't want to see you or I don't, I mean, you don't want to be like, uh, oh my goodness, I don't know what, what I, I don't know what to say. I need to, I need to get a, I need to eat. I need to get a, uh, I need to get a bus. I need to get a taxi or a cab. Tengo que agarrar el taxi, tengo que agarrar un autobús. Y usted se me queda así, como pregunto, entonces. Esa es la razón por la cual nosotros tenemos que empezar a actuar más rápido, ¿verdad? Cuando le digan, hey, let's see, uh, Christian, why are you drinking? Tell me, why are you drinking? Um, I drink water. I am drinking water, right? Very good, very good. And Camila, how, how long now? How many years you been with with glasses? How many years you 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 been uh, wearing glasses? No entiendo. I mean, how many years? ¿Cuántos años ha usado usted sus, uh, oh. sus lentes? How many years you been with some? I mean, with glasses. Two years. Like two years. All right. Very good. Very good. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding the question, right? The questions. All right. So that's 
part of part of the of this process. Now, before we go, let me send you real quick to the break rooms, and you need to ask some questions. I mean, to your um, classmate, right? So le va a preguntar a su a su classmate cuánto. I mean, tres preguntas o dos preguntas. Que qué hizo el fin de semana? Ya puede ser comiste pupusas, fuiste a jugar basquetbol, este te levantaste tarde el fin de semana. Preguntas, acuérdese ocupando el did. All right, so, todavía tenemos un par de minutitos, vamos a ver. Sí. Okay, I'm acepta el join and that would be it. Okay, let's see. Join, please. Everybody join. Everybody join. Everybody join. Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, welcome, uh, Adriana. Let's wait for the rest of the class. We have uh, 50, 55 seconds, all right? So, okay. Solo está acá. Quiero ver. Ya entró Luis. All right, so ya están entrando los compañeros. All right, guys, in the meantime, I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding what is the auxiliary deed and what is the auxiliary do? Remember about that, all right? So all the time that people is asking you questions, pon atención y no se me vaya a confundir cuando la, porque a veces nos confundimos en el sentido de que usted está esperando una pregunta así. What, where, when? Obviamente son preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero si yo le digo, eh, Serena, where is, do you know where, uh, Serena, do you know where is Metro Centro located? All right, so usted viene y me dice, yes, I do. Uh, could you please help me with the, with the directions? Y viene usted y me dice, okay, where, where do you live? Uh, y ahí usted empieza a hacer su pregunta, where do you live? All right, entonces. Para que no se me vaya a confundir, usted puede hacer preguntas all the time with where, how, why, who, what. Pero de igual manera también usted puede preguntar con el auxiliar did. Did you play basketball? Did you practice English uh, tonight? Did you like the classes? Did you like your English classes this, uh, I mean, tonight? Viene usted y me dice, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Honest, being honest, right? So about the question, right? So short answers. Yes, or yes, no questions. All right? Ya si usted 
me conoce de años o conoce a la persona que está en la parcela, lo vuelvo a repetir, usted empieza a preguntar como las historias que estábamos viendo anteriormente, que todo era en pasado. Pero estaban hablando de, de, una, de una boda, que se casó, se pone el vestido bien bonito, que las familiares está, le dieron de comer un almuerzo, un, un meal, eh, como un plato de comida bien, bien exquisito, y hasta le gustó el, el esposo a la amiga. Vaya, Dios mío. Entonces, pero él, ella estaba hablando en paz. She was talking in paz. So that's the reason that you guys need to understand or comprehend, all right, when people is talking to you, all right? So, porque a veces, créame que a uno le pasa, a veces me, a mí me, me, antes, cuando yo empecé, el paréntesis rápido, me decían, uh, do you know where is, do you know where is, uh, I mean, do you have a light? Y yo decía, light, 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 oh, encendedor, encendedor, no. No, I don't, le decía, no, I don't, pero así tiene que, así tiene que usted actuar, ¿verdad? De ahora en adelante, cuando le, le pregunten, hey, uh, Iris, what color is the background in your, in your apartment, I mean, in your room? What color do you have in the back? Uh, is agua, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Pero, o sea, pero o sea, usted entendió la pregunta, what color do you have yes. in your background? Oh, color, 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 green, ¿verdad? Green. All right, so, and así sucesivamente usted tiene que empezar a actuar, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos vamos a quedar aquí, mis estimados. I see you tomorrow, God's will. Practice your, pla sí, I mean, pra tomorrow. the platform and take it easy, all right? So, have a, have a blessed rest of the night, okay? Take okay, it easy, guys. I see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.